Hi guys! Wow, already 400 Hi people. Guys. That's great. Oh, we need to turn on the music on the computer. Cool. Can you see me all right? Well, Lucy is there with me as always. <laughs> Today we have Smoodo with us too. Uh, he's in his bed right now sleeping, but I will call him in a couple of minutes and then you can meet him in person. Right on. So good to see you, man. The comments are so quick. Hey, Sebastian. What's up, everybody? Oh, man. I have to say I really, really enjoy these live streams. It's, um, I don't know, the time goes by so quick and it's just really cool to have a weekly update. As I say, every time we talk about roughly three things, it's the, the project of today, it's the copper and oak lamp, then I will give you guys some updates. Then I want to talk about trolls, but only very briefly because I don't want to give that topic too much room. I just want to address a couple of things. And then I give you my record of the week recommendation, which is actually a pretty old record and I don't have it because it's so rare and I so far I haven't been able to get it. Um, so maybe one of you has it and wants to trade with me because I would, I would love to have that record. But let's talk about that later. Now the first thing um, is the copper and oak lamp that I uploaded this morning. Um, it was a pretty quick video and a very quick build. I think, uh, I, I think it took me maybe one and a half, two days to build it and to shoot it. And then a couple hours to edit it. And I really enjoyed these, the, the quickness of the project. Um, the story is not so big and that way, or because of that, I have much more time to show you guys some other stuff in my workshop. I don't have to rush through the project showing every step. I have time to show you my Jimmy DeResta figure and my ice picks and all of that. And I really enjoy these videos where you just, I don't know, there's a bit more room to breathe and the, the edits are a bit slower and the music is a bit, um, I don't know, relaxed. Uh, I really liked it. I do like the complicated projects, of course, as well. But this one was a was a good, almost like a vacation. <laughs> and the thing is, these simple and minimalistic and easy projects are super hard to come up with because it's always easier to overcomplicate things and to overengineer things and to have a project that is, I mean, it's just copper and oak and some some rivets, but it still looks great. So I think it was a it was a pretty enjoyable project for me. Um, there were a couple questions on, on YouTube. Somebody was asking why I hot glued the, um, the wood onto the oak thing before I turned it. And that's for one reason I had to, I wanted to um, make sure both sides are flat. So there is a thing for the lathe. I'm not sure what, what the word is. Let me see if I can find it real quick. There you go. Um, you can use these, maybe it's a face plate, I'm not sure, I think it's a face plate. You can use these and screw them into the wood and then they have these attachments for the lathe and that's how you can turn bolts and all of that. And I could have used it, but I wanted to avoid having the screw holes. Face plate, thanks. Um, and uh, that's why I, I needed a hole in the middle anyways to, to have the cable, to go, have the cable go through later. Um, so it was okay to have one hole drilled into the oak um, and that's why I decided not to use these four screws but to use the wooden piece and I hot glued it in place just to give it a bit of extra uh, security because you really don't want to have these, oh, sorry, you really don't want to have these huge chunks of wood fly off into your face. So that's, I, I, I just wanted to make sure it doesn't turn, it's a bit more secure. This hot glue is actually super great um, somebody just gave me this this hot glue gun it's from 3m and they have different they have a little bit different sticks so um, and they're made for for wood especially so this is much hotter than a regular hot gun I know Tom Sachs uses it too and he has a in his newest video the hero's journey he talks about how hot this is it's 200 something, I don't know, I don't remember, watch the video, but it's really hot, a lot hotter than a regular um, hot glue gun, but it's also super strong. Uh, it's kind of hard to get it off actually. I uh, chiseled it off. Well, anyways, if you're looking for a really good hot, and I think they also make these with a um, th th thermostat, thermostat, 
thermostat <laughs> so you can control the heat, um, which, which might be a good idea, but this one doesn't have it. Anyways, um, was there another uh, question about the video? Um, yeah, about the coating. Is there a coating oh. on the copper? No, there is no coating on the copper. I thought about um, putting a clear varnish on it, but I don't know I didn't. <laughs> I think if uh, if we, I'm excited to see if it will get a patina just from touching it, um, and it might even look good. So I will wait and see what happens. In case I don't like the patina, I will just sand it off and come back with a with a spray varnish. That's the cool thing. If you don't uh, sell your things, you don't have to have to decide these things um, beforehand. You can just because you have them around, you can just uh, wait and see what happens and then decide if you maybe want to add a finish or not. Um, I actually, there's a, like the steel blackener that I used in a couple videos. Um, there's a chemical like that for copper and for brass and it gives a green or blue patina. You can speed up the oxidation process and it looks really, really nice. I thought about using that on the lamp um, for the for the inside. But then again, the light is so nice because the copper reflects it. So I didn't want to ruin that effect. And I didn't want to have it on the outside because I like the minimalistic and very clean look. And also that goes so great with the wall color that I um, that I painted the wall. This gray, green, blue tone. Ugh, it looks so good with the copper. And with the patina, it probably wouldn't pop that, that much. So I think it good, it's good as is. And if um, if it would stain or... Um, oxidate, then I will come back and spray paint it. Copper patina is called, what is it, verdigris? Verdigris? I shouldn't read. That's one thing <laughs> I cannot read. So you will find that out in a couple minutes when we pick the winner for the book giveaway <laughs> and I horribly mispronounce your name. Um, yeah, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. This yeah. is such a good vehicle. Uh, last week I talked about this book. Um, the guy sent me three copies. I will keep one for myself because it's actually a really cool book. And I will give two of these away for my Patreon supporters. I posted that beginning of this week and asked if you were interested to receive a copy. Everybody who commented, I wrote the name on a piece of paper. And guys, look at that. Oops, sorry. I think there were 110 people commenting. And I didn't know that, that you guys are so interested in giveaways. I mean, we could do this once a month if you like. I think giveaways are cool. And I just didn't know so many people were interested. All right. Okay. You want to pick one and I pick one? Yeah. Okay, but you need to come to the frame okay. so everybody knows we're not cheating. Giveaways are awesome. A mini montage of the whole build of the project is the whoop. Paul Spirito. Paul Spirito? Is that is that how you we probably can't read that either? <laughs> um yes, you won the book. I will contact you on um Patreon and I will also send you something extra. Do you like would you like a shirt? I mean I will write you, I will give away the book. One shirt, preferably one that you don't have. Maybe you have the logo shirt, maybe you have the Always Do Favors shirt. We will figure that out and also a couple stickers. So you will get, um, you will get um, that, that book and the shirt. All right, one more. William Fellas. William Fellas, you also won the book and a shirt and a couple stickers. I will get in touch with you um, on Patreon. And yeah, that's awesome. I will send these out next week or maybe Lucy will send these out because she's <laughs> in charge of that. <laughs> All right guys, so I think that was it about the, um, the video. If there are more questions, I mean, oh, I did want to talk about the rivets. I put them here. So I used copper rivets, po um, pop rivets is how you call them. This is how they look. Um, I didn't know they make them in copper, so I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, at first I planned to use solid rivets. This is how they look. Um, I mean, I do like the solid rivets more because, I don't know, I feel 
well, they feel more traditional and more solid. <laughs> and you don't need fancy tools to use them. You can just use a, use, use a hammer to attach the rivet. Um, in the case of the pop rivet, you need these um, rivet things. I'm not sure what they are called. Rivet, um, riveters? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what these things are called? Um, and in German, it's Blindnietenzange. Not sure if that translates <laughs> translates to English so much. But the thing, the way this works is, you have the little rivet pop gun. rivet gun. All right, thank you, Miles. <laughs> um, there's this steel shaft attached to the copper thing. And what the pop rivet gun does is basically it pulls it back and that's how this whole thing gets bigger and then the two sheets of metal or whatever you want to connect. Um, Harry Ball, is there somebody? Um, I just read a thing that's not super appropriate for the comment section. I do want to point that out that I'm not a big fan and I have a zero uh, tolerance policy because there are a lot of kids watching and I don't want any dirty jokes or some of that in the in the comment section. So please cut it out. There are plenty of places where you can talk about that stuff. Two reported it already. Two reported it. Cool. Thanks, guys. It's I mean, it's not that I'm it's just about the kids. You know, you don't want to you don't want to or I don't want to have this environment where parents um, think that they might not be able to watch a live stream with their kids because they are some idiots who think it's funny to say dirty words in the comment section. I'm not a big fan of that. Anyway, so this is how these pop rivets work and the solid rivets you can basically just you, you just hammer hammer the head down until it becomes a little bit bigger and then you cannot uh, take the pieces apart anymore. It's really really cool. Um, as I said, I do prefer the solid rivets, but the pop rivets are just very quick and super simple to use. Um, back when I was working at the flight case company, we used these all day, every day, and we actually had air, air pressure pop rivet guns. Oh, this is probably what you call them. And they are super fancy. You can be, you can work so fast with these. Pnu yeah, <laughs> all right, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Um, would hammering the solid rivets you form? Yeah, exactly. Hammering the solid rivets. I mean, I'm sure there must be um, specific tools how to make sure that they that all the rivets have an even look. But I don't have these tools. If you just use the if you just use the hammer, which works fine, you also uh, run the risk of damaging the material. And that's why I didn't use it for the copper lamp because I really wanted to look it super super nice and super clean. All right, so talking like next thing I want to talk about, but as I said super briefly, is trolls. Um, and that's only because this is such a frequent feedback that I get. It's like, how do you deal with all the comments? How do you deal with all the trolls? And I have to say, there aren't that many trolls. And when I started, the negative comments definitely were a lot louder than they are now, at least in my head. Um, you, you really take it too hard if you take a week and produce something and then it I mean it's difficult for everybody it's not that I am super confident and I don't have a problem with showing my work to the whole world that's a huge step that's you know it's difficult for everybody and I just don't appreciate um, when people I don't know take confidence from other people I don't think that's a, that's a good thing to do and as I said in the beginning these comments really got to me now I just delete them Again, the same thing as um, as here in the comment section. I, if, if other people come to my channel and they read these things, I don't want any negativity at all. You can criticize me, that's fine. I don't think that's negativity, but um, the whole, you know, troll thing, I don't wanna give that a stage and I don't wanna share my community with these people. So that's why I just delete and block people who who say bad stuff on my comment section. Um, but at the end of the day, this is just, I don't want people, I mean, there are young kids, I know that Miles is watching. He's a young dude trying to get started and it's super brave what he's doing. I know, I think Hayden might be watching. She's a girl that I met at Maker Fair. She's uh, 10 years old, I think. These people should not be intimidated by, <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't want to be rude, but, these people should not be intimidated by other people who sit in front of a computer. It's so easy to judge. It's so easy to uh, to be negative. 
and that shouldn't hold them back. Um, and that's why I'm very sensitive about the whole trolling thing. Um, but for me, after was it one and a half years of making videos, you really you, you don't listen to that anymore. And it's more like when you have a job and you're stuck in traffic every morning, that's annoying, but it's never a reason not to do the job. So I think trolls are a bit like traffic jams. It's super annoying, but it is it is what it is. You cannot fight it and there's no reason in getting angry or starting a fight with them. Um, I just want to make sure if, they, if, there's, if there are kids out there or other people who want to get started, don't listen to them, don't be intimidated by that. These people or their opinion on the internet doesn't matter at all. And there are, on, like, there are so many good comments. Maybe you have like 100 really cool comments and one idiot. And I think that's at the end of the day, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good ratio. I mean, they're always idiots. No, there's no way to avoid it. Avoid it. Um, yeah. Anyways, I wanted to get that off of my chest because yeah, you should. If you think about starting a channel or if you want to start a vlog or I don't know, just talk to another person, like just do it. Be confident. Do it. Stay positive. Negativity will never open any doors for you. Um, so we should all feel sorry for the trolls. <laughs> all right. Um, Wow, that was quick. I think we have, oh, wow, Jay, dude, thank you. I just got, I just got $5 from Jay. That's awesome. Maybe you can say hi to his daughter, Emma, because she's seven and she might be the youngest. Oh, viewer. Emma. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Emma, I hope, uh, I hope you enjoy this live stream and I hope you make cool stuff with your dad. <clears throat> um, wow. Uh, am I talking so fast? Like, <laughs> am I talking too fast? <laughs> Maybe I will slow down. Let me have a zip of my mate. Mm. Good stuff. Please do this more often. You mean the live stream, Jay Moore? Because I will do the live stream every week. She wants to know what your favorite tool is. Oh, I think all the tools are my favorite. Um, oh, look at that. Look who just... Come up. Hey! <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's my favorite tool. <laughs> yeah, we just spent the weekend um, with friends in Belgium and he wasn't allowed off of the leash because there were um, animals around. So he's a very, he's very under exercised. We need to take him outside and let him run for a bit. He's very nervous. Come swim, come him up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's the best. He is such a good dog. I get a couple of questions. Um, he's a rescue dog from Spain. So <laughs> one and a half years ago, we decided that we want to adopt a dog. And I got in touch with this uh, comp what, company organization. Mm -hmm. They rescue dogs from Spain and they told me that there's this emergency dog. And that was him. He was, he was in a shelter and they wanted to... Uh, kill him, yeah, one week later, so it was it was pr pretty, yeah, it was an emergency, and then we didn't have much time to decide, but she, she just sent us a picture and a video of him, we said, yes, let's give this a try, and then a week later he came, and yeah, that's the, that, that's the story of Smudo, we are super, super happy to have him, he's, he's just the best, I can only encourage you if you're thinking about uh, getting a dog, maybe think about a rescue dog. It's a it's a good thing to do, and they are incredibly nice. Anyways, um, I think I will do the record of the week thing, and then um, we can jump into the question section. Maybe today's stream um, no, is just a little bit offline. shorter. Uh, it's offline. Know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but everybody says it's. Um... Oops. Maybe some people can still see us. I All don't right. Know. I don't know. Can you still see me? Um, oh, yeah, something's wrong. Hmm. 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 I'm not sure what to do. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I don't know how we fix this. It's raining. I mean, I'm in the Wi-Fi. I shouldn't be. Uh, Reloading now. Okay, it's reloading. 
offline. I don't know. Hm. Jetzt haben wir noch, noch äh, 29 Leute. Ja. Sollen wir dann einen neuen Offline. Stream starten? It's gone.